Okay, in this video I just want to talk about finding the limit of a vector function, which is, again, uh, I think uh, pretty straightforward for the most part, uh, as long as you're okay with limits. So, here we want to find uh, the limit as t approaches 0 of e to the t minus 1 divided by t, the square root of 1 plus t minus 1 over t, and then 3 over 1 plus t. Basically, the rule says what you're allowed to do is you're allowed to look at the limit of each piece individually. And that's what we're going to do in this case. So again, with limits, the first thing we try to do is simply plug the value in. I think for the first two parts, though, that's simply not going to work. We'll end up getting... So if we plug 0 into the first part, notice we'll get e to the 0, which is 1 minus 1. So we get 0 on top, which is fine. But we get 0 on the bottom, and that's what messes things up. Likewise, for the denominator of the second part, we'll get 0 in the bottom. Notice we can just plug in t equals 0 in the last part, and everything will, will work out just fine. So if we look at the limit of the first part, so let me look at that individually down here. So we'll have the limit as t approaches 0 of e to the t minus 1 over t. Again, notice if I plug in 0, what's going to happen? We'll get e to the 0, which is 1 minus 1, um, so 0 over 0. And since we get 0 over 0, what that means is we can simply use L'Hopital's rule. So if we use L'Hopital's rule, we'll get the limit as t approaches 0. Well, the derivative of the numerator would just still be... We, the derivative of e to the t would be e to the t. The minus 1 would go away. The derivative of the denominator would just be 1. And now I can plug in t equals 0. I'll get e to the 0 over 1, which is 1 over 1, or simply 1. So it says the first part, it says what we're going to get. <clears throat> it says that first limit is simply going to work out to be equal to the value of 1. Okay, so let's look at the second part as well. Okay, so we'll do that one. So the limit as t approaches 0 of 1 plus t minus 1, all divided by t. So again, we'll get 0 over 0. You could use uh, L'Hopital's rule on this problem, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to multiply by the conjugate. That's another trick that works on uh, problems when you have square roots present. So remember the conjugate of the numerator, you just change the sign in the middle. But if I, mu if I multiply the top of my fraction by that, I have to do the same thing to the denominator. And when we simplify this, it looks like in the numerator, okay, so we have our limit as t approaches 0. The square root and the square root will cancel, so we'll just be left with 1 plus t. Notice we'll get a positive 1 plus a positive square root 1 plus t will get a minus square root of 1 plus t. Those will cancel out. And then um, our outer terms, or our last terms, will just get a minus 1. Um, again, in the denominator, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to multiply it out or distribute that t. And the reason is, notice in the numerator, if you simplify 1 plus, you have a 1 plus t minus 1. So the positive 1 and the negative 1 will simply cancel out. Well, then we're left with positive t over um, t, so we can cancel those out and be left with just simply a 1 in the numerator. And now I can plug in t equals 0 because we won't be dividing by 0. And if we plug 0 into the first part, we'll just get the square root of 1, which is 1, plus 1, or we'll get 2 out. So now we know simply that the limit of the middle part is just going to be equal to the value one-half. Again, with limits, what you try to do is basically plug and chug. You try to just plug the value in. Notice in the last part, if I plug in t equals zero, in the denominator, I'll just get um, one. If we plug in t equals zero, we'll get three over one, or three. And that's going to be the solution to the last part. So now we've computed the limit of this original vector equation by doing each part individually. So it's basically the tedious part with finding um, the limit of a vector equation, or vector function, is that you're just going to have to do basically three different limit problems. But the ideas are the same. 
So as long as you're okay with um, limits, it's just, it's just tedious at worst. Um, you know, if you've forgotten some basic limit stuff, I would say review L'Hopital's rule, um, at least the zero over zero case, and also, you know, usually they do limits very beginning, first semester calculus, um, you know, bust out your calculus book, or hey, better yet, watch some good old, uh, just math tutoring videos on limits. So, all right, I hope this makes some sense. If you have any questions or comments, again, please feel free to post them, and hopefully somebody can point you in the right direction. So, all right, good luck out there.